All right. So talk about reflection and refraction. We're really quickly going to talk about plane mirrors. And plane mirrors are just simply that, a planar mirror. It exists in a single plane, your typical bathroom mirror. So things of this sort. So if you look, when you look in your mirror at home in the bathroom, if you'd never seen your reflection before ever in your life, had no idea what you looked like, if you, and you didn't know what mirrors were somehow magically. It's the same as some magic you know, brain injury or something you've had. So you don't know what you look like and you don't even know what a mirror is. You looked at the mirror, you might get startled. You didn't realize somebody else was in the room. So, and there's somebody standing, but do they look like they're standing right where the mirror is? No, no. no they actually look like they're standing... Yeah, they kind of look like they're standing way back here behind the mirror. So in this case, if you're a meter from the mirror when you're looking at it, it kind of looks like they're standing one meter behind that mirror. And so we call that the image. So and in this case, the image distance is equal to the object distance. How far away the actual object is from the mirror is how far away it appears the image is from the mirror, in this case, behind the mirror. And the idea is that, you know, the light that you're looking at, if there's light that bounces off of you that hits the mirror and then makes it back to your eyes and the distance it travels would be double the distance between you and the mirror. Cool. Second part of plane mirrors is if you shine light on it with an angle relative to the mirror. And we define the angles here. We always draw the normal line here and the angle between where the light comes in and the normal we call the incident angle, which I'll just call theta one here in this case. And it turns out it's always gonna reflect off a plane mirror with exactly the same angle. And so in this case, this would be theta two and theta one would equal theta two is how we express this mathematically. But the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. We don't spend too much time on this because then we spend a ton of time talking about what's called refraction and then students forget this. And because reflection and refraction are such similar words, they differ by only two letters. A lot of students don't realize what they're being asked, so be careful. Reflection and ref versus refraction, be careful in what you're being asked. For reflection, the incident angle is equal to the reflected angle.